Hello there, and uh, welcome to an episode of Rats. It's Chris Andrew, of course. And uh, yeah, still got a big smile on my face after uh, that uh, game over the weekend. Spurs beating Manchester United 2 0. And uh, it was a fantastic, glorious game, really. I have to probably, uh, well, they get the video is being edited, so um, that shall come out hopefully by the end of tonight, but uh, we shall see. But uh, yeah, um, just want to touch up on something on, uh, I said in the aftermath show, where um, I can't. Yeah, I guess uh, it was it was brilliant. It was a great, great. It was, it was a great uh, advert for what Ange Ball's all about. Um, uh, Manchester did have, I suppose, they kind of shaded the first half of the first half. I would, I would say, and I, I've seen a few pundits saying that, um, well, um, but how lucky, how unlucky Manchester United were. They, from what I recall, and I've seen, well, just the highlights. I've actually seen the whole rerun of the game but from what I recall Manchester had two decent chances I would say decent enough one was ruled out offside when they, when they headed it over I think that was just, I think that was um, um, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Fernandes who uh, headed over then the second one um, Rashford a similar kind of loop ball and then a header which he blasted over as well which might not have been offside so uh, that would be kind of got away with it, but um, the way that uh, the chances came it would have been one hell of an incredible header to actually, um, you know, to actually uh, get me on target. So um, I'd say they had uh, opportunities. I wouldn't say they were brilliant, decent chances, but I guess the XG would well, say otherwise. And then in the second half, we just up the ante, play very well. We I mean, we did have a, the best opportunity, I would say, in the first half, where um, so. Last shot was uh, saved by the keeper, but you know I will say, say that uh, yeah, I still say that uh, the, the first half was 50-50. I wouldn't say that uh, they were the better side or that uh, we were the better side. I'll say it was 50-50 and it was shaded. Uh, and you can say that they probably shaded it just if you had a push. But second half we were all over them. I mean, it kind of says a shows at the end. I mean, the possession stats were just through the roof 54% possession for Spurs against Manchester United the last time I saw possession stats like that um, I think we had about 63% possession at Old Trafford that season that we drew 1-1 and Jermaine Gina scored that fantastic free kick we dominated the ball and um, I know they scored first but, and we equalised but in reality we should have won but that's, uh, that's kind of uh, by the way that's kind of how it happened really and the uh, amount of possession that we had this weekend you know, just kind of showed and we uh, created enough opportunities there to win by three or four so uh, I, can't, I can't accept that uh, you know it was uh, uh, we, uh, Man, United, Man United were very unlucky or that it was really really close it was just a case of uh, sticking in there and then taking our chances when they were presented Manchester United yeah had opportunities but they weren't in my eyes they weren't clear cut that's how it is but um, that's uh, three points for that, and then the video should be out for that soon. And the second point of order is that um, for the women's team, Shalina Zadorsky has signed a year's extension to her contract. So that's second up, up to June 2024, which is brilliant news. Um, she, I know she, she didn't play that many games last season. I just assumed that she was um, nursing an injury. I had to kind of look into that, but um, all that was just a kind of uh, maybe she was. Uh, because she's not getting of that age, you know, she's only going to be 30. But uh, yeah, it was kind of a, a case that she hadn't, she hardly played. But uh, I'm happy that she's still on board. That she's still ca as a captain as far as I'm concerned. And um, still one of the world's best players. So it's good to have her on board with us still. And uh, look forward to seeing more of her next season. But uh, yeah, so it's been a, a buzzing few days already. Looking forward to uh, when the uh, women's um, season kicks off on, uh, I think it's October the 1st, away to Chelsea, so a very daunting start. But, yeah, so that's the news at the moment. Any more that comes up, we'll uh, keep you in the loop. But uh, thank you for watching. You all take care. Come on, you Spurs. I'll speak to you soon.